Hello everyone, I'm Dragodrone 93 Welcome back to Soma. So, where we left off, we got through, uh, Epsilon. Going through the tunnels now. The subway system, I believe. And we came across this woman. So apparently these- this pair of gargantuan lungs are keeping this woman alive. I have the choice whether or not to pull the plug on her, thus putting her out of her misery. So I've thought this through, I've asked some people, and if you think about it, these lungs are the only things that are keeping this woman alive. And she tells me that the thing won't let her die, that nothing is allowed to die. And one thing's for sure, I myself wouldn't want to allow, wouldn't want her to, or I myself wouldn't want to be in this position, in this predicament right now, laying there with just this pair of lungs keeping you alive. So I feel like the most merciful thing would be to uh, set this one free. I'm sorry, lady. But you may be happy. You may be happier without that, without that restraint. Ah, uh, shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Uh, okay, now I really, I probably should uh, power it offline. Power supply unstable. I'm doing this to help someone, folks. Meanwhile, here we go. Oh, fuck. And to think, if I disconnected those tubes, she'd probably die anyway, if people tried to... But I think we're in the middle of a apocalypse right now, and I don't think anyone would be here to help. So I, I don't think I had a choice. I mean, I, I had I had a choice. I had a I had a big choice, but I just this this is the way I see it. She's completely stranded right there, without any hopes of like getting out. Without that, it seems like her air supply was disabled somehow. So I believe that lung thing was there just to keep her alive constantly without any hopes of getting free or dying, for say. So, I think I did what I had to do. I really feel bad, but, um, hopefully she'll rest in peace now. Without that. Okay, power supply is stable. So that thing, I think, was causing issues. Anywho, no time to waste. Let's get back to it. Um... Where am I supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? Okay, light. Lights, camera, action. Um. Uh, where am I supposed to go? I'm in a dead, I'm at a dead end right now. I'm just gonna go back. See if there's anything back here. Ooh. Sparks. Everyone likes sparks. I was already I was already here. Is there something oh wait. Maybe Maybe the subway's working now. Let's see. Because there was a subway car in the last video that I had to go in, I think. We're about to find out. Okay, was I supposed to close that? I can't help but feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh, that's what I was supposed to get. What? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That took me a while, but I sure don't got it. <laughs> All right, what we have here photo pathos two food floodable airlock, adaptable pipes. 
Apparently, uh, apparently pipes can adapt. All right. Shuttle J6 activated. Standing by. I did it. Took me a while, but I did it. All right, let's sit here. All right. Oop. Oop. Bam. Oop. The big red button. Okay, we're at Epsilon. We want to go to Lambda. Oh, Lambda. Lambda, confirm destination. Okay. Lambda. Leaving Epsilon B. Hoo-hoo! We're going on an adventure! Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, hi. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely Jeez. launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with whiskey combustion. The station's has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. Of course. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. The last part sounded a little creepy, but we should be there in approximately 48 minutes. And now I sit here peacefully. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Ooh. Deploying emergency brakes. I take this. Aha. There we go. Well, thank you for the ride, train. I will not be taking taking uh, you again. Woohoo! Okay. Fire extinguisher. I hear that. Oh, it's the phone. Telephone! Phone's ringing! Is that for me? Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you Kiss your right? mother with that mouth? No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Wow, you're really out of place, aren't you? <laughs> Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Uh-oh. Sounds like she's Catherine? in... You okay? Yeah, sounds like Catherine's in trouble, too. We may have to save her. Even though we have no powers whatsoever. Oop. Aha! I'm gonna see what's down here first. Just in case. Just in case there's some kind of strange... Ah. A hole. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's the time where I escaped through that, uh, that wormhole. A hole where worms dig into. There's a lot of slime here. You never know what you'll come across. Oh. Can I climb? Look at my arms, they're like, uh, covered in lights. 
and fine felt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Here we go again, yes indeed. Things are about to get super soggy. Super soggy. Hello, clams. Okay, come on. Oh, little lag there. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you're gonna close on me, all right? Okay, here we go. Lamp, though, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Oh yeah. <laughs> How big can it be? Tell me, folks. I think those are yellow tuna. No, no, I'm com I'm probably completely wrong. I may be wrong about everything here. Let's enjoy this exploration. As I said as I said before in Outlast, it's amazing how far games have come. I mean you go from 2D, two-dimensional things, and then you go to three-dimensional. Then you come to computers. Then you get these fine and fancy textures. It's all so fascinating to me. And I consider every game that we come across an adventure. Like an adventure in the gaming world. One that we all can enjoy together. I hear whales. The humpback whale? Blue whale? Sperm whale? Maybe not. As I said, I could be completely wrong about everything. I don't even know what's right. I'm not even sure if I'm right in this apocalypse. Aha, Lambda. We're close. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see me? Did he see me? Did he see me? Okay. I'm an expert at hiding. Just like on Minecraft, I sneak. I sneak while crouching. Ooh. Yep, nothing's here. Nothing but good old Drago drone. The wow. I mean, wow. I don't think you mean actually wow and surprise, but wow. Oh, oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, 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 just keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was too close for comfort. And I, for one, enjoy comfort. We got a, got a sub. Oh. It doesn't fold down, it folds up. Or, yeah. Let's try this. Uh, Escape vessel. Protocol missing. All right. We need a tool chip. Oh, come on. Nope, I give up. <laughs> okay. Okay, I give up for now. But for now, let's explore. Lambda. Um, I'm gonna quickly peek 
Oh, no, I think I'm supposed to go in here first. That's a theory. Yes! Yep. Boop a de 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 boop Look at that gun. I'd say someone has a really bad or serious sinus infection. And they sprayed it. You say it, don't spray it. Oh, what is the? Catherine? Be quiet. Don't look at it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, can I hide, hide inside the locker? No. Okay, just, just crouch over here. Crouch over here. He'll go away. I hope. <gasps> oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Are you sure? Are you sure? Right. Simon, are you there? I'm hurt. I think we're in for a big surprise here. Hey, down here. She's a robot. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down, it's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I, yep. I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Hey! Okay. Hey! Focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. <laughs> I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? Yep. I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. I don't think Simon here, the when character the I... When the tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. All right. So we gotta plug this in here. Lambda terminal 27 activated. Yep. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Oh, why does a Sorry. robot chip fit a door open? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Alright. Whoa. Let's give this a try. So I think this is Catherine's consciousness. Look at that, it's like a bunch of limbs. She must have been a walking machine. Walking through here? That's weird. That's seriously weird. But uh, I don't think Simon, the guy I am... Let me close this door. I don't think Simon likes machines too much. I, for one, care for machines. And I intend to help them. Whether human or not. There we go. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. There's pretty much anything will fit. Oh, mm -hmm. this feels weird. <laughs> I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. 
So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. <laughs> How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. All right. What was it said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, she, um... What she did was... She took someone's brain, did like a scan on a person, it copies their actual brain structure, personality, you name it. And so, I believe what happened to Simon here is that he fell through under the scan. And therefore, he was copied. And here we are here, inside this diving suit that she talked about. You can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at oh. it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good <laughs> idea. Where from? Oh! 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 Shit! Oh! Oh! What are you doing? Be careful! Jeez, that thing's after me. <laughs> Hi! Don't break. Do not break. Just go away. Go away, go away, machine. The Drago drones, friends, all wish to play. Drago, machines go away. Come again another day. What is, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll quit my singing right now. This. Chris, I've stayed up all night. Seemed like a waste of sleep. I got the TV on in background. The new newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive, this thing would be you guys below the waves. I hope you are able to get on, if it's a life worth living. Looks like the shit's out about to hit the fan. I swear, I better hit I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. Oh. There's really no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Afraid so. You were all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Indeed. <laughs> Careful! Oh. oh, shit. I think shit. it's back! Oh! Keep oh. 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 oh! What's here? Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap. Please don't tell me someone's walking through here. What happened before? That creature was strangely... Overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. It gives the senses a good punch. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, shove your hand in there. Uh. 
Okay, so let's go to the next room, I believe, which is over here. Okay, we're... Computer. Yes, look for anything about the arc. Okay, so uh, we're gonna stop it right here, guys. Uh, if you like, please subscribe and hit that like button. We will continue this right away. I'll actually be recording, recording this next, actually. So, um, we'll stay tuned and see what's on this computer. So long, everyone. Drago Drone, out!